hello friends welcome to my youtube channel the topic that i am going to discuss today is enzyme linked immunosorbent assay which is also called as elisa it is one of the most popular and widely used immunoassay technique involving antigen antibody interaction in this video i am going to discuss two things about elisa namely first introduction and principle of elisa and second types of elisa in which we have indirect elisa sandwich elisa and competitive elisa now let us understand introduction and principle first followed by types of elisa that is enzyme linked immunosorbent assay if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new upload Enzyme linked immunosorbent assay commonly known as ELISA is similar in principle to RIA but depends on an enzyme rather than a radioactive label an enzyme conjugated with an antibody reacts with a colorless substrate to generate a colored reaction product such a substrate is called as a chromogenic substrate a number of enzymes have been employed for elisa including alkaline phosphatase horsch radish peroxidase and beta galactosidase these assay approach the sensitivity of ria that is radio immuno assay and have the advantage of being safer and less costly a number of variation of elisa have been developed allowing qualitative detection or quantitative measurement of either antigen or antibody each type of elisa can be used qualitatively to detect the presence of antibody or antigen alternatively a standard curve based on known concentration of antibody or antigen is prepared from which the unknown concentration of sample can be determined now let us understand the principle of elisa elisa relies on the principle of enzyme substrate reaction where a known enzyme is coupled to an antibody which when exposed to colored substrate complexes releases color the intensity of color is measured by taking the optical density on a colorimeter now let us understand the types of elisa in detail as discussed earlier there are three types of elisa namely indirect elisa sandwich elisa and competitive elisa now let us understand indirect elisa antibody can be detected or quantitatively determined with an indirect elisa serum or some other sample containing primary antibody is added to an antigen coated micro titer well and allowed to react with the antigen attached to the well after any free primary antibody is washed away the presence of antibody bound to the antigen is detected by adding an enzyme conjugated secondary antibody which binds to the primary antibody any free secondary antibody then is washed away and a substrate for the enzyme is added the amount of colored reaction product that forms is measured by specialized spectrophotometric plate readers which can measure the absorbance of all the wells of a 96 well plate in seconds indirect elisa is the method of choice to detect the presence of serum antibodies against human immunodeficiency virus that is hiv the causative agent of aids in this assay recombinant envelope and core proteins of hiv are adsorbed as solid phase antigens to micro titer wells individuals infected with hiv will produce serum antibodies to epitopes on these viral proteins generally serum antibodies to hiv can be detected by indirect elisa within 6 weeks of infection now let us understand what is sandwich elisa sandwich elisa antigen can be detected or measured by a sandwich elisa in this technique the antibody rather than the antigen is immobilized on a micro titer well 
a sample containing antigen is added and allowed to react with the immobilized antibody. After the well is washed, a second enzyme-linked antibody specific for a different epitope on the antigen is added and allowed to react with the bound antigen. After any free secondary antibody is removed by washing, substrate is added and the colored reaction product is measured. Now let us understand what is competitive ELISA. Competitive ELISA Another variation for measuring amounts of antigen is competitive ELISA. In this technique, antibody is first incubated in solution with a sample containing antigen. The antigen-antibody mixture is then added to an antigen-coated microtiter well. The more antigen present in the sample, the less free antibody will be available to bind to the antigen-coated well. Addition of an enzyme conjugated secondary antibody specific for the isotype of the primary antibody can be used to determine the amount of primary antibody bound to the well as in an indirect ELISA. In the competitive assay, however, the higher the concentration of antigen in the original sample, the lower the absorbance. If you are watching my video for the first time, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification of all my videos. Thank you.